Britain would have not one but two uh, new referendums, reruns actually, of uh, two referenda uh, in the next 12 months. And you can imagine not much else will get done in Britain next year if we have to rerun a European Union referendum and in Scotland rerun a Scottish independence uh, referendum. There will be all kinds of forces moving to try and prevent Jeremy Corbyn leading uh, such a minority administration and bringing about those two referendums. It'll be a very rocky time. And we'll be back for a new general election fairly soon afterwards. So those who are campaigning now, don't put away your campaign boots because you might have to do it all again next year. Most likely, I think we both know, Jason, is that the Tories will have a workable majority and they will put through their Brexit uh, deal and we will leave the EU uh, at the end of January at the latest. However, as has been made clear elsewhere in the show, that's only the, uh, not the uh, beginning of the end, it's only the end of the beginning, to paraphrase Mr. Churchill, because there will be many, many battles over the terms, the deal that we make uh, with the European Union. And there will be many in the Conservative Party who will try to make this as much like Mrs. May's Brino, Brexit in name only, as they can possibly get away with. So some of us, me included, will be trying to hold Boris Johnson's feet to the fire to make sure that the Brexit deal he finally does will be a real Brexit.